everybody. I'm Amy, magical starter from Quip Quilt Company. I'm going to give you her instructions in English. The second block lesson is Lemon Star. With no pattern required and only drawing lines once, you can get your block done easily. When making an eight-point star block, first create rhombus shapes and then piece them with triangles and squares by sewing L-shaped seams. But in today's lesson, we only sew triangles, so it makes it easy to complete the block. A pre-cut set for this pattern is available. It contains four groups of fabric, each having six pieces of 13.5 cm squares and eight pieces of 4.5 cm squares. With one group, you can make two blocks. In total, you can create eight blocks with the set. I am going to make a wall hanging size quilt with these block lessons. So six piece blocks side by side, which are the same size as the monkey wrench blocks that we did in the last lesson. The remaining two blocks will be pieced later. Let's look at this bag. It's a reusable grocery bag, alternating fabrics cut out from the panel and the lemon star blocks. Fold, put a band and a carriage in your bag. Here is a quilt with rotated lemon star blocks. Let's get started! First, Pick up two pieces of 13.5 cm squares from one group. Place a ruler on both corners and draw two lines diagonally on the wrong side of the white background fabric. Before sewing the fabrics with the right sides together, use acorn glue. This replaces pinning the seams. Normally, I put 5 pins on this diagonal line, so I am going to apply 5 drops of glue and another 5 drops of glue on the opposite line. The heat of the iron sets the glue and makes the needle of your machine penetrate the glue easily. Let's get stitching! We are going to sew two lines, not on the drawn lines, but 7mm away from them in both directions. The needle of my machine is set to hit 7mm away from the edge. If your presser foot is large, move the needle to the right side. I am sewing with the red thread for you to see the stitches easily, but for your sewing, you will be using white or cream color thread. Oh, no, no, no. 
ました。We are going to cut the block. First, find the center. And cutting half. Then horizontally. Cut on the drawn lines. We've got eight half square triangles. Press to the dark side. When you iron, a piece pops up very often. To make a seam remain flat, apply fabric treatment to the top side of the seam. The treatment will not stain your fabric. So put it on the right side and iron. The seam will stay flat. Finish the rest of eight half square triangles. I am going to square it to 4.5 cm square as the finished size is 3 cm square with this square ruler. Align the seam with the diagonal line on the ruler. And trim on both sides. Rotate the block. The ruler is printed in white and block markings in 1 cm grids. Using the side with the block markings, put a sticker indicating where 4.5 cm is located. Match the sticker with the corner of the block. Align the seam with the diagonal line on the ruler. And trim on both sides. Now we've got precise 4.5 cm half square triangles. Finish the remaining parts to get eight half square triangles done. We are going to make eight half square triangles with two pairs. Prepare one piece of 4.5 cm square. First, piece the two blocks above and the ones below. Apply three drops of glue on both blocks. Place them with the right sides together.
and iron. Let's get stitching. Apply the treatment on the right side of the fabric and iron. The seam allowances should be pressed alternately. Piece the two blocks with the right sides together. Be sure to get the two seams to match. Apply the glue and iron. The upper seam allowance goes toward me. The lower side goes in the opposite direction. When machine sewing, the nested seam can pucker. However, this piece is pressed evenly with the treatment. You see the intersection is perfectly matched. This seam allowance goes to the right and the other goes to the left. This is the line what we stitched. Open it to fan the seam, and you see a tiny full patch appear in the center. Apply the treatment and press to dry. We are going to make three more same blocks. Piece the two blocks. Check again that the seam allowances are alternating. Apply the glue, iron, and sew. Open and make sure those two intersections are matched. Like we did before, open and 
make a faint seam. Apply the treatment and iron. Look at these pretty nine fan seams. Now the block is done. Thank you for watching.